I've been in the martial arts since I was three years old. Uh, I did kickboxing was my main sport. So, you know, I got up to 57 and 0 in kickboxing with 46 knockouts. Um, ended up tearing every ligament in my left leg. So I was out for almost three years. Usually you don't feel anything, even if it's an injury, because your adrenaline's going. But if you feel something, then you know you're pretty injured. So I had three surgeries on it. Um, new ACL, they took out 40% of my meniscus. In that three years, I kind of found that fire again, you know? So that's when I started training with these high-level MMA guys. It was something different for me, so it was fun. But it's the ultimate sport, I think. Two guys out there, you know, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. Who's the better man? We have a family-run business back home, a martial arts school. I'm the head kids instructor there at Upstate Karate. Uh, I know what the martial arts has done for me, and I kind of want to give that back to them, you know? Something that you don't get in other sports these days, the modesty, courtesy, integrity. Self-control, perseverance, showing indomitable spirit is what the martial art's about. A lot of people think it is, it's just a violent sport, but we teach them when to use it and when not to use it. So that's, that's my inspiration, man. You know, just being a good example for them. Before I step out there in the, in the octagon, I'm in the back. It's a very scary moment. I don't care what kind of fighter you are. You're scared before you go out there. They can say they're not, they are. You know, I know some of the baddest men in the world are in the back crying before they step out there. And right before you walk out, you're asking yourself, man, how can I find my way out of this? But you know you're not. But you know, you're thinking that, because you know you're about to step in there, and this guy's trying to rip your head off. So yeah, it's crazy what goes through your head. But as I'm walking out, the, the, the nervous jitters actually kind of go away as you get closer to the cage. Like, you know it's go time. The harder I push myself in the gym, the more confidence I have when I step out there. Like, nothing can touch me. But after your hand is raised, or after that fight went or lose, you're like, this is why I do this, man. This is, it's the biggest rush you ever have in your life. I don't have to fight to make a living. You know, I do it because I love it. You know, I like it. I do it for the honor and for the glory. The money's just a bonus. There's a lot of people that wish they could do things. They, we think, they wish they could go back. So now when I look at it, you have that opportunity. Just go, man. Just do it. No ifs, ands, or buts. No excuses. Just go.